What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 50 minute full body HIIT strength workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 50 minute HIIT strength workout. It is gonna be full body today and we're using dumbbells because it's HIIT strength work. Okay, we've got 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, and this is day two of your 30 day stronger you challenge. Day one was a stretch yesterday to kind of get our minds right, get our bodies moving, get us all stretched out and ready for this challenge. This month is gonna be all about making yourself stronger, but most importantly, strong enough to challenge yourself. Okay, I'll be throwing in some add-in workouts, so make sure if you see two uploads in a day, you check out that second part of the workout that's just gonna be an optional challenge for you to maybe add 10 minutes of cardio or 10 minutes of abs or 10 minutes of arms or glutes okay so if you see two uploads in a day that's just your option to again it's totally up to you it's not mandatory but if you want to step it up and level up just a little bit more that option is there for you okay so we're gonna start with dumbbells 10 15 20 and 30 pound dumbbells are the dumbbells that I have for today make sure you have dumbbells that challenge you and sweat towel and a water bottle, okay? If you're looking for the glute resistance bands, I also have those, and yes, we will be using those throughout the month, but today is full body, so just make sure you are ready and make sure you give this video a thumbs up when you finish this workout. Maybe there's some new moves in here for you, but throughout the month, we're gonna be working hard on getting you stronger at those compound moves and those isolation moves, okay? So, big overarching theme of the month, challenge yourself. Keep pushing yourself to step into that stronger version of you, mentally, physically, emotionally, with hydration, with nutrition, with sleep, whatever it is you need to get better at. Let's do that together this month. All right? Okay, big deep breath. <sighs> let's jump into our workout. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready. All right, let's start off with cross body arm swings, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Big cross. Nice long warm up and nice long cool down. We've got three exercises in a circuit and then we're gonna take 30 seconds between each circuit too. So you'll have a little bit of rest in there. Okay, take your left arm, big circle forward, right across your body. So the three exercises are gonna be one move and then another move and then the combination of the two moves. Okay, so if you're getting into a motion that you haven't done before, you'll be able to practice that for a couple rounds. Okay, switch arms. I will provide modifications if you need them. So maybe use them today. Don't be ashamed to use modifications ever, ever, ever if you need it. Okay, big wide stance. Let's go down in the middle to squat, stand. The last couple exercises we will do, or the last couple circuits, will involve maybe some tougher moves that you haven't done before. But again, I'll show you how to get into it. I'll show you how to dial it back if you need to. And then as, as we get stronger, maybe you can step it up a little bit. Good, hinge down to the floor, keep your legs straight, touch and squeeze your glutes. Touch, squeeze. Beautiful job. Keep in mind, core is always tight and flexed. Back is flat throughout every motion, motion, motion. I've said that twice this week. Move and motion. Okay, come on back to the back. Step high, kick. Great work. Up and up. One more and then let's switch legs. If you've been switching already, just keep switching. Perfect. All right, one more. And kick one leg back. Stretch out your calves. Keep your heel on the floor and lean forward as much as you can. Three, two, one, and switch legs. Do the same thing. Heel down, lean. Great job. Two, one. All right, so first move that we're gonna step into is a goblet squat to calf raise, okay? 
We've got three rounds of 30 seconds. We'll go together in 10. You're gonna go goblet squat, calf raise at the top. Okay, so grab your dumbbells. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Goblet squat, calf raise. Dumbbells at your chest, sit, stand. Make sure you're setting back in your heels. The first thing to move in a squat are your hips. They're going back and down. Back is flat, chest is up. There we go, seven, six. Good, and rest, perfect. First round is over, you have two more rounds of that with 15 seconds rest in between. If you need, if you can step it up, let's do it. Round two, here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Lift the heels at the top. Breathe in before you sit, so you fill your lungs up. As you come up, exhale. Beautiful job, come on, four, Three, one, and rest. Good, we've got one more round. You're doing great. And then we're gonna move into an alternating row, okay? Eight seconds, big deep breath. Last round. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Sit, stand, lift the heels. Beautiful, 15, 14. Nine, eight, come on. Four, three, two, one, rest. You're gonna go bent row from the floor. Okay, one dumbbell here. Keep that hinge flat back. You're gonna row, put it down, switch. Row and switch. Ready? Two, one, all right, let's go. Row to the floor, keep that nice flat back here. Okay, if you need to modify this a little bit, feel free to go to the floor, okay? Just to keep your back flat. There you go, you got three, two, one, rest, good. Two more rounds of that. Water in your 15 second rest if you need it. All right, here we go. Four, round two, three, two, one. Pull the core in, row. Great job, come on, breathe through it. <sighs> Exhale as you pull, okay? <sighs> Three, two, one, beautiful job. If you can go up and wait, let's go. One more round, okay? And then we're gonna combine the two. All right, you ready? Five seconds, four, Three, two, let's row, here we go. Pull, put it down, and switch. I'm gonna keep you moving today. We're working strength, so I want good control, heavy weight, I'm gonna keep you going. That's it. Give me 10 more really good seconds. That's it, three, two, one. Now I want you to grab the other dumbbell. Put it at the other end of your mat. We're gonna go squat jump to row, okay? I'll show you what it looks like. You're here, jump forward, squat, grab that dumbbell, row, okay? Turn around, squat jump, and row, okay? So when you're done at this end of the mat, let's use right hand, down at this end, left hand. Okay, let's start here. Two, one, let's go. 
Left hand row. Turn it around, squat jump. Stay down, right hand row. Great job. 10 seconds. And rest, beautiful. Great job. If you're modifying that, don't be afraid to just step up, squat down, and row, okay? All right, here we go. Four, three, round two, two, one, let's go. Great job, 14, 13. Good job, come on, three, two, one, rest. And we've got one more round, and then we'll take a little bit longer rest, okay? All right, you're doing great, here we go. Three, two, one, squat jump, let's go, squat. Hop, we're just step and pull. Here you go. Beautiful job, 15 seconds. Squat, jump, come on. Three, two, one. And rest, you've got 30 seconds rest. And we're gonna move into a push press next, okay? So I'll show you what that is. It's a shoulder press with a small little dip at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with my 20s. Dumbbells are here, feet are hip width apart. You're gonna dip. As you straighten your knees and your hips, you're gonna press. Bring it right back down. Dip, press. Okay, we'll go in 15, but you can get weights that are just a bit heavier than what you would do for a normal static press. Okay, so let's go in five seconds. Grab your dumbbells. Two, one, here we go. Dip, extend, and press. Good job. Make sure hips and knees straighten back out as you press. Two, one, rest. Good job. If that was too easy, let's bump it up. Grab that next weight. Don't be afraid of that next weight. Just grab it, try it. Even if you can only get two or three reps and you feel like my form is failing, I need to dial back, that's okay. Round two, ready? Let's go. Dip, punch. Bring it back to your chest or your shoulders. Ten, nine, eight. Two. One, rest, beautiful job. We've got one more round. Again, try it if you think you might be able to. Okay? Whew. Big deep breath. You're doing awesome. Let's go, three, two, one. Last round, dip, punch. Bend the knees, bend the hips right here. And as you extend, you're using that momentum from here to get your dumbbells moving. Perfect, 10 more seconds. Four, two, one, rest, good job. All right, now we're gonna go lunge, pulse, and switch, okay? Let's take just one dumbbell right here at the chest. One, two, up and switch, okay? Let's go in two, one, 
Here we go. I know you know how to do these. One, two, switch. If you need to go forward in your lunge, you can do that too. Just give me two pulses at the bottom and switch. Big step forward or backwards so you can sit in that front heel really good. Good job. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, can you go up? Try it if you think maybe, or let's do it on the last round, okay? Five seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's sit it back. Down, down, and up. So go all the way down and up. Down, down, press. Let's get good at these foundational strength movements, okay? Strong, balanced. Good, seven more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. And we've got one more round. Let's go up if you can. Big deep breath. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's do it. Sit, sit, big push. Keep your knee out. So make sure when you step back, you're not stepping right behind each other. You've got hip width. Knee stays out, not here, but here. There you go, four, three, Two, one, grab your lighter dumbbells. We're going lunge and press, okay? So starting up top here, you're gonna start dumbbells here. Step it back, push it up. Come back and switch, okay? Ready? Let's go. Sit down, push up, bring it back in. If you need to modify that, just do the lunge, break it up, and then press, okay? Six, five, two, one, rest. Good, 15 seconds of rest, and then we'll take a little bit longer rest. You're doing great. Combining the two, what we just did, okay? Here we go, round number two. Two, one, let's go. Whoops, here we go. Good, 10 seconds, come on. You're doing great, you got three, two, one, rest. We've got one more round of that. Can you go a little heavier? If you think maybe, let's try it. Core is always tight, you're always sitting in your heels. Dumbbells are always straight up over your head. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep your core tight, keep your heel down. 14, 13. Good, four. Come on, one more. Three, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Woo! Beautiful job. You've got lateral lunges in a wide stance next. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep you wide. All right, toes can be pointed forward, angled a little bit out, whatever allows you to sit down on each side, okay? Let's go in 10 seconds together. We're staying wide and we're gonna sit, sit, sit. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Sit back and down. Back in your heel and down. Think about doing a squat. If you're not ready for the dumbbell, just go right here. Reach forward, sit, 
Come back in. Reach forward, sit. Come back in. Keep your knee out. Good. Seven, six. Come on, three, two, one. Rest, good job. All right, two more rounds of that. If this is too light, let's bump it. All right, big wide stance again. Round number two, two, one. Let's go, sit low. Big push in the heel to bring your hip forward. Set it back, forward, there we go. The more you dig your heel down, the more you're gonna feel those glutes activating. Woo. Back is tight. It's okay to bend forward a little bit, but not round forward. Okay, you can lean with a flat back so your butt sits backwards, but your shoulder blades are tight. Three, two, one, rest, good. Okay, so what I mean by that, if I step out to my lateral lunge here, this is rounding, okay, here, this is leaning. It's flat, but it's angled, right? You can do that. Round number three, two, one, let's go. Sit and push. Come on, we got it. Chest is tight, abs are tight. Six, five, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. We're going for a hang snatch now. Okay, feet are wide, dumbbell is in the middle. Same little dip as with your push press. Little dip, pull and catch. Bring it here, back down, okay? Let's grab that dumbbell. We'll go in three, two, one, here we go. Little dip, pull, catch. Back down, little dip, pull, catch. Okay, so you're still drawing your arm up, 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 up till you get past your head and then flip it up. Okay, and then catch it at the top. Good, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job, let's switch hands. Same thing. Okay, so we're dipping, dip, when you come up and straighten knees and hips, you're starting that pull, and then that momentum's gonna take your dumbbell, you catch it at the top. Two, one, let's go. Dip, pull, catch. Slowly back down. Dip, pull, catch. Beautiful. Dip, pull, catch. Lock it out right over your head. 10. Nine. Keep your hips straight. Four, three, two, one, rest. Now we're gonna do two arms together. Okay, so take that same movement. Wide stance. Okay, you're here. You're gonna go down, pull, catch. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Both hands pull, catch at the top. Okay, you can have it this way, you can have it this way, whichever way feels good for you to catch right over your head. Bring it slowly back down, okay? Good work. You got eight, seven, four, three, let's go one more. Two, one, rest. Now keep one of those dumbbells. Okay, we're gonna combine the two. So, take the dumbbell in your left hand. We're gonna go lateral lunge to the right, overhead catch, bring it back down, okay? Ready, two, one, let's go. Lunge to the right, reach it over, come up, pull, catch. Okay, lunge, pull, catch. There you go. Lunge, pull, catch. And make sure you're landing dumbbell right over your head, not out here, okay? <sighs> Complete that lunge. <sighs> Four, three, two, one, rest, good. Same thing to the left, okay? Dumbbell is in your right hand now. We're gonna go lunge, 
stand, pull, catch. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. To the left. Set it down. Pull, catch. Back down. Lunge, pull, catch. Keep your shoulder going straight up so that your bicep is beside your ear at the top. Good job. Down, pull, catch. You've got 10. There you go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Now we're gonna alternate, okay? Let's start back here. Lunge, pull, catch, bring it down, switch. Lunge, pull, catch, bring it down, switch. Okay, let's start going to the right first. Two, one, here we go. Lunge, bring it, switch it here. Lunge, lots of power out of this side leg, okay? There you go, pull that snatch right across your chest and catch. That's it, give me five, Whew. four, one more, three, two, one, rest, great job. You've got 30 seconds rest, great job with that combo. That's one we will keep using, getting stronger at. Lots of hip power, right, the snatch, there's a pull powered by the hips and the legs, okay? <sighs> Big deep breath. We're gonna move into a Romanian deadlift now, okay? Just a strict Romanian deadlift. So feet hip width apart. You can angle them a little if you want. Okay, we're gonna hinge it back. Touch the floor if you can. If not, come right here. Squeeze your glutes to come forward, all right? We're gonna go in five, <sighs> three, two, one. Let's go back as tight. Reach, squeeze. I want you to feel that stretch. Right before you come up, dig your heels into the floor so hard you're trying to push through the floor. Great work, come on. Seven. Three, two, one. Rest, good job. All right, dumbbells down. You can make that harder by doing single leg if you want, but let's get that power move in first, okay? Round number two, in five. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Bent knees, tight back. Hips go back, dig the heels, squeeze. Your upper body is just staying tight and straight for your lower body to do the work. Okay, it's just holding on to the weight. Here you go, six, five, three, two, one. Beautiful rest. We've got one more round. Whew. Whatever way you feel comfortable holding those dumbbells along the side, right across the front of your legs, either way is fine, as long as you're getting that hinge and squeeze. Last round. Three, two, one, let's go. Bend, squeeze. Come on, breathe. You got 15 seconds. Give me a good stretch and a powerful drive with those hips. Five, four, three, two, one. One, great job. Heavy dumbbells, probably gonna take a rest. Next one we're gonna do alternating underhand rows. So bring your dumbbells here, pulling right back with your palm facing forward. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, drive right back. Boom, and boom. Squeeze the shoulder blade backwards. Make sure you're not just pulling up in here. Back is flat. Use that shoulder blade muscle. Pull it right back. Boom. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. All right. If you feel good there, stay there. If you can go up, do it. If you need to go down to make sure your back stays safe, do that too. Okay. We're just going backwards. Hanging. 
backwards, not up, back, okay? Round two, let's go. Think about your shoulder, reaching for your spine, that shoulder blade. Driving the elbow back to the direction that your glutes are facing. That's beautiful, come on. Seven, six. Come on, two, one, rest. You've got one more round of that and then we're gonna combine deadlift, row, and stand. Okay, seven seconds, big deep breath. You're doing great. Three, two, one, last round of underhand rows. Make sure also that you're not shrugging, okay? Keep your shoulders down, pull backwards. Chest is big, pull back. Big chest, pull back. Okay, 10 seconds. Don't let yourself pull up. You're going backwards. That's it, three, two, one, rest. Next move, you're combining the two. So we've got deadlift, row, and stand. If you need to separate the two, you can do that. Do your deadlift, come up, row, back into the deadlift, okay? Two, one, let's go. Row at the bottom, slowly release on that row, okay? So hinge. Pull, slow release, drive the glutes. Good. Seven seconds. Drive, come on. As soon as you release that row, squeeze the glutes, rest. Good job. So you get down here, you row really slow. As soon as you get here, Power, okay? Don't try and roll up this way. Power forward to stand upright. Ready, let's go. Round two, control, dig the heels in, straighten up. Ribs are tight, abs are tight. Good work, 10. Three, two, one, rest, good. Dumbbells down 15 seconds and we're gonna go one more time through. All right, ready? You're doing awesome. I know this is a lot of strength. You've got it. Here we go, keep everything controlled. Let's go. Keep the hips straight with your feet. Good job. There you go, five, four, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. Grab some water, you've got 30 seconds rest. I know your forearms might be tired. Me too, pull your fingers back if you need to. Hang clean is your next move, okay? So you're coming from a position above the knees with your dumbbells, that's what hang means. So you're hanging somewhere right in here. You're gonna hinge back, pull catch. Okay, bring them back to your quads. Glide down, pull catch. Okay, we're gonna go in 15 seconds. So if you wanna practice that move, you can for a second. Hinge back as you lean forward, straighten everything up, and get under it. Okay, you're getting here and then you're dropping under. Three, two, one, let's go. Hinge your butt back as you lean forward. Butt powers forward, catch. Okay, here, catch. Here, catch. Good job. Rest, Whew. all right. So again, the hips are very heavily involved. Back, as, as soon as they power, you start that lift off, okay? 
Let's go round number two. Two, one, here we go. Here, pull, catch it. Soft bend in the knee is always okay for this one. Here you go. 10. Four, three, come on. Two, one, rest. Good job. So think about your butt on the next one, okay? It goes back, okay? That gives you that power to get those dumbbells going. You don't have to make that sound effect. That's just me. <laughs> Here we go, last round. Two, one, let's go. Here, I'm just kidding. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> you can make that noise if you want. Hinge, power, catch. Keep the dumbbells close to your body too. So don't let them pull out here. Okay, they stay close. Good, four, three, come on. Two, one, rest. Now we're going into a split jerk. Lighter dumbbells for this one, okay? I'll show you and then we'll go together. Okay, I'll show you from the side. Let me actually move these. Grab some water, guys. Think of a shoulder press with a more dramatic or dynamic drop under, okay? Dumbbells start here. We're taking that same little dip. As you punch, you're gonna separate your legs. Stomp it out. Okay, step back together and then lower. All right, so I'll give you a couple more seconds. Dip down, punch, split your legs. It does not matter which leg goes forward first. Step together, lower. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Dip, punch, and split. Step together. Dip, punch. Okay, the same time you're punching, you're dropping under in a split position. There you go. Seven more seconds, dip, drop under in a split, stand together, lower. Three, two, one, rest, good. Now if you feel okay with that, bump that weight up. Okay, it's a lot of leg power. I know it seems like it's arm power, but you're getting here, starting the motion with those legs. As Soon as you get it started, you drop under. Ready, round two, let's go. Like I said, doesn't matter which leg goes forward first, just matters that you drop under those dumbbells after your momentum gets them off your shoulders. Five seconds, can you give me one more good one? And rest, good job. One more time through, and then we're gonna combine them. Okay, so we're gonna go hang clean, Split jerk, all right? One more round of the split jerk. Let's nail this one down really good here. Four, three, dumbbells at your shoulders. Two, one, bend, get it started. Punch and drop. And make sure you're not going out to the side with your dumbbells. They go right over your head. Good, get it moving, drop under. Seven more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Now let's start from the top, okay? Hang clean to get them here, split jerk to the top, okay? We'll go in 15 seconds, let's practice the move, okay? Hinge here, pull, catch. Then you're here, ready for the split jerk. Dip, punch, okay? Take it lightweight first if you need to. We'll go in four seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Hinge, pull, catch, dip, split. Okay, clean and split jerk. Get it up to your chest first. Feet stay same position. Dip, punch, and get under it. Okay, you're doing great. I know this is a lot. Whew. 
two, one, rest, good. One round down, two to go. Split it up and take your time. You don't have to worry about going fast until you get each step right. Then put it together, okay? Hinge, pull, catch, dip, punch. Let's go again. Round two, here we go. Hinge, pull, catch, you're here. Dip, drop under. Start all over. When you get the movement down, you can speed that transition up. You don't have to stop in the middle. Okay, one more. Three, two, one, rest. Good, let's go one last round here. If you can go up and wait, I wanna challenge you to get this last round a little heavier. If not, I want you to challenge yourself to get each part right. Okay, take your time. Last round, let's really push ourselves. Two, one, here we go. There you go, lots of leg power. Come on, 15 seconds. That's it, three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds rest, guys, great job. Whew. Grab some water. So that was your clean and jerk, okay? Clean and split jerk. All right, so far so good. And if these are new moves. Take your time and go back through. Rewatch if you need to, just slow it down. Practice, even without the dumbbell, okay? Next one we have is an overhead squat. Lightest dumbbell, okay? One dumbbell is overhead, feet very nice and wide, okay? Other hand is here, you're gonna sit, stand, okay? Come with me in three, two, one. Here we go. Sit, stand. You're gonna have to push your butt back a little further. If you wanna use both hands, you can. You'll see how it goes just a little bit behind my head and I come back up. Okay, if you can't do that, come right here. Right at your forehead. Okay, I just want it away from your body. Butt goes back. Down, stand, three, two, one, rest. Good job. So there will need to be some flexibility in your lats, shoulders, and triceps for when you sit to make sure it's still right over your hip bones, okay? It can't be out here. All right, here we go. Round number two. Let's go, try it out. Sit way back, feet are super wide. There you go. Good job, 10 seconds. Wide feet. If you can't get the overhead position, bring it right to your forehead. I still want it out over your hips when you sit. Okay, rest. Good job, one more time through. Make it as light as you need to. Okay, wide stance. Here we go, three, two, one. Butt goes back and down. Weight stays over your hips. So as your hips go back, that weight is staying right over that stable position of your hips. Take your time. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that dumbbell down to the floor. You're going floor snatch, okay? Remember how we caught it all the way up here? Same thing, we're just starting at the floor. So you have a hip hinge, flat back. Pull that up across your body, catch. Okay, put it down, switch arms. All right, here, hinge your hips back. Power, catch. All right, let's go in six, five, three, two, one, here we go. Hinge the hips back, power them forward. Dumbbell floats up, you catch it. Good job, come on. 
Once you get the move down, round two, be thinking about it. Can you go heavier? Five, four, two, one, rest. Beautiful, round number two. Can you step it up a little more? I think you might be able to. Try it, try it, try it. Lots of power here, 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 here. Drive with heels dug in, power. Two, one, let's go. Heels dig in, boom, pull those hips forward. And switch. You're catching it directly over the crown of your head. Make sure you're not catching it out away from your body. So if your arm is out here, it's gonna be really unsafe for your shoulder. Five, four, two, one, rest. Good, one more time through. Now's the time if you're thinking, maybe I got it. Maybe that was easy, maybe I can try heavier. Try it, I believe in you. You gotta believe in yourself. You're strong, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Last round, floor snatch. Big pull, boom. Keep your back flat. The quicker you can get your hips to drive forward, the more power you're gonna give to your legs to get that dumbbell up instead of your arms. Nine. Eight, come on, five, four, three, two, one, rest, good job. Now we're gonna add those two together, okay? I know this might be new for you, it's okay. Let's drop down just a little bit. Overhead, snatch from the floor. So you're here, catch, take both hands if you need to, squat and sit, okay? We'll go in eight seconds. Take it down back to the floor, do it again. All right, four, three, two, one. Take it overhead, snatch. Bring your other hand up if you need to. Sit, back down. Snatch, back down. Snatch. Great job, seven. Three, two, one. All right, if you need a modification for that, it's gonna be the same thing. Snatch, overhead, just bring it right back here. Squat, okay, so complete your whole snatch and then bring it here for the squat. All right, let's go again. Three, two, one, round two. Pull, overhead or at your chest, sit, stand. Remember, wide feet helps you sit down in that squat a little better. Two, one, rest, last round. This is it, right here. 30 seconds, snatch, squat, or squat. Right back up into a snatch, okay? Here we go, let's get really good at this snatch power. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Last round, overhead, sit. Come on, sit, push. As soon as you get down there, push back up. Boom, good job, 13, 12, come on. Nine, eight, one more together, here we go. Snatch, overhead, squat, and rest. Amazing job, guys. Woo. All right, come on down to a seated position. We're gonna cool it down. Whew. Take your left leg, cross it over your right leg, turn over to the left. Okay, so turn outside of that bent leg. Look over. Big deep breath, in and out. I'm so proud of you today, guys. Maybe these moves were new. Maybe they stepped it up a little bit for you. Maybe you really pushed yourself in terms of the weights. It's all about a stronger you. Not a you compared to me, or a you compared to the next person doing the workout. Switch legs. 
it's stronger you. So if you in any way got through that workout and at some point you said, you know what, let me challenge myself, let me step it up. That's the goal, you've achieved the goal for today, okay? So swing it around, stretch, stretch, stretch. Never think that this is a measurement tool to compare you to anyone else. It's to compare you to the you that you were five minutes ago or yesterday or last week. It's you versus the previous version of you, okay? Feet out nice and wide, reach towards the middle of your feet, reach, 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 reach. The whole month is 30 days stronger you challenge, not 30 day as strong as someone else challenge, okay? It's stronger you. Can you get stronger in your physical abilities? You sure can challenge yourself to do it, okay? Flip over on your stomach for me. Stronger you. Big push away. Think about it, when you're done here, grab a piece of paper, write it down, write it in your iPad, in your phone notes, in your computer, on a sticky note where you'll see it every day. I am stronger, okay? I am stronger than yesterday. I am stronger than my old self. I'm stronger than I think, okay? Write down all the things that you are stronger in, all the ways that you are strong. And at the same time, write down ways that you are going to get stronger. I'm going to get stronger in my chest press. Tuck your toes down, lift your hips up, drive your heels to the floor. I'm going to get stronger in my squats. I'm going to get stronger in my bicep curls, whatever it is, in my shoulder press. Write both of those things down. Notice they're both positive too. I'm stronger than I think, and I am going to get stronger in my chest press. Neither one of those things says, I wish I was as strong as this person, or I'm not as strong as I think, right? Walk back, drop your hips down, lean your knees right against your elbows, open those hips up. We'll be working on mobility a lot as well, okay? Good, lean into it. Push back up, hips up to the sky, roll up slowly. And as the clock rolls down to zero, you have completed day two of the 30 Day Stronger You Challenge. Congratulations. Day one yesterday was a really great stretch to get you prepped for this whole week, to get your body moving, your joints, your low back, your hips, your knees, your ankles, your back muscles, your hips, the muscles around your hips, okay? That stretch was to set up the best month, the best opportunity for you to know you're strong already and to get stronger each day. Write these things down. I'm telling you, it helps it click in your head. I am stronger than the old me. I am stronger than I used to be. I am stronger than I think, okay? Give yourself credit, first and foremost. Second, I am going to get stronger in you fill in the blank. I'm going to get stronger in my nutrition. I'm going to get stronger in my shoulder press. Okay, so write a positive affirmation first and a challenge second. Okay, I know you can do this and I know we're gonna crush this month together, all right? Day two, Stronger You challenge complete. I will see you back here tomorrow. Make sure you type in the comments below, I crushed it. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget, every single workout is about you challenging you. Okay? Subscribe to this channel and check out all the links in the description below for your calendar, for all the merchandise, the towels, the glute bands, and I can't wait to see you guys back here tomorrow. Let's keep getting stronger. Bye guys. <laughs>